everyone so in this video i'll be talking about a college a cheap college that you can consider applying for in canada now apply for a cheap college has a lot of benefits number one thing is that your proof of funds is going to be reduced in terms of the amount you need to show and then overall it will be easy for you to get the tuition cleared out as compared to when you have a very high tuition fees that is the reason why a lot of people have been considering applying to New Brunswick Community College because their tuition is less than 11,000 Canadian dollars. And, you know, it, it, as of last year, it closed because they had too many applications. And by 2023, you know, especially those that apply for September 2024, you know, they opened it in July and within two days it closed, right? And then it opened up again and then it closed to some international students. So I really have an alternative for you, especially if you're still thinking about continuing your journey because New Brunswick Community College is closed to, for some countries. It doesn't mean that all your hopes of coming to Canada is going to be completely shattered. That's why I'm going to be talking about this college. Now, actually, the tuition for this college is less than 12,000 Canadian dollars and is probably around a thousand dollars above that of New Brunswick Community College. And another great thing about this college is that it is located in the Atlantic province, which means getting your permanent residency in such province is a little bit easier because they have what is called the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program that allows international, actually, they want international students to stay in such provinces because most people graduate and leave. So they kind of bring out a lot of PR pathway for them to use. And then this college is also eligible for post graduation work permit and so it means when you graduate if you do a one-year program you can do a get a two uh, a one-year post graduation work permit and if you do a two years program you can get a two years uh, sorry a three years post graduation work permit and that is really amazing so i'm going to be in this video i'll talk about all of the courses that they offer and i'm going to also show you a little bit about how to actually do the application uh because um you need to fill in your details and there are some questions that may be asked that are a little bit tricky to answer so if you want all of the fujis the name of the school the courses they offer and a little bit of tips on how to apply make sure you watch this video till the very end so i'll head straight to my computer now to show you and uh, about this college and then you can apply right away new Brunswick community college is getting filled this is going to be the next hot cake so if you actually apply early then you will be able to get admission early right but if you wait and not apply, then maybe it's still going to get filled up just like no, uh, the New Brunswick Community College. So let's go straight to my computer so that I can talk about this particular college. Courses they offer, their attrition, their ap application process. No, it's a fairly easy thing to do. So you can click on all programs here to know exactly what are some of the programs that they offer now you can actually search by whether if it is uh, by by name you know um so you can see that they offer academic and career connection uh they offer some kind of aircraft maintenance technology they offer some um, architectural engineering technician program they offer some um uh, b business very good business program business administration you know if you want to specialize in accounting or financial services then business analysis very good program right uh they also do some um, you know child and youth care civil engineering technology that's a very good program they do uh, um culinary management you know uh, construction management technology it is a fantastic and amazing program and if you're into the health area you can try out the dental assistant program and digital marketing as well and if you're in health you know you can also check out the disability support and services and then early childhood education you know very great program uh, some electrical engineering and a technician and electrical engineering technician very great program 
Then if you want to learn more about finance, they offer a very great uh, finance program as well. For those in the health sector, um, they do some human resource management, you know, um, industrial instrumentation, IT, you can see IT data analytics, IT programming, ID for inter artificial intelligence, IT web, you know, programming. If you are, you know, you want to learn more about law and security, library, you know, uh, marine geometrics, sorry, geomatics, uh, meta fabrication, you know, there is also occupational health and safety. They have paralegal, they have a technician program, you know, uh, practical nursing is a very good one. Then uh, they also have journalism, you know, so you can social service, um, welding. So it's all left for you, whatever program you feel is close to you know exactly what you want to do that relates to your experience or your education ex education uh if your education is recent you can definitely check out one of them if you graduated like let's say 10 15 years ago they might be best to check out for a program that matches exactly with what you're doing as a work experience so if you want to learn about any of this program what kind of a program is it you know is it a one-year program or two years program you know what are what, what, they, let's say we want to just click on uh, let, let's choose one let's say construction management technology so if we click on this program it's going to tell you that you know they have a start date for september and then they have the program is a two years program and it's a diploma i've already talked about the fact that diploma is anything anybody can apply straight out of high school okay and if you already have even though you have a master's already if this is going to help you get better in your job then definitely go for it and then if you want to learn more about the overview you know you can see a lot about the work experience you know why you should choose the program if you want to learn about the location so this one here says that it's only available for september of 2023 so if you want to apply for september 2024 definitely check it out so a lot of other programs are available of course for june i did just an example you want to learn more about the admission requirements you know um it's going to tell you you need a high school diploma um so basically what it means is that if you're straight out of high school you can actually apply for this program what you just need is your high school certificate and your transcript but if you already have a previous degree let's say a bachelor's degree master's you only need your high school diploma uh, certificate you don't actually need to start worrying about high school certificate uh, transcript and all of that and the biggest part of all this is the attention tuition fee for 2023 2024 for international students level thousand six hundred and ninety okay i mean this might be very expensive for a lot of people it may, i mean it depends on your background or where you're coming from but related to other colleges in canada this is considered affordable and cheap other regular colleges usually between you know 16 and like twenty thousand canadian dollars so if you see anything of eleven thousand six hundred and ninety, then it is considered you know it is considered affordable right but it may not be affordable for you but it is considered affordable relative to others right if you want to learn about what happens in each year you know and what are some of the careers prospects you know you can work as construction workers and other things you know and then if you want to learn more about the courses, then you can see all of the courses that they offer at different time points. So you can scroll all the way down. This helps you to kind of see, you know, uh, is it really something that I would be interested in? If you want to click on apply, apply, you know, you click on apply now. And then if you want to apply as an international student, there is uh, an application process for international students. Then what are some of the process you know select the program review the general uh, uh, requirement and for the specific program check some of the documents that they need right check the tuition and the cost you know if the, you see there are some scholarships also bursaries that are available and then pay the application fee and they submit your application okay so if you want to just learn more um if you view the application process for international students then you know of course september 2023 is already closed right um so if you have 
a valid study permit, you may be considered. Okay, if you're you already in Canada, you have a study permit, you may be considered. So it also tells you how to apply as an international student. Of course, you should be able to do this. Okay, you should be able to read through it. And then you see, if you plan to stay and work in Canada after graduate, ensure that the program of choice, you know, very important because probably not all the programs are eligible for post graduation work permits. Okay? If you go to advanced search, for example, then you can actually search by, you know, um, what program, you know, area of interest. Let's say if you are interested in business, you can search by business to just make your search easier. If you are interested in an IT area, IT and data analytics, you can definitely click on IT and data analytics and then just do a search. Then it's going to tell you all of the programs that are under IT and data analytics okay so it just helps you to streamline your choice and then um if you are in the area of uh, let's say business or education let's say we go back to business and do a search uh let's say we are interested in business administration okay you go to business administration so you can see that now they have um september and january start this so which means if you're interested in starting in january this is something definitely for you and it is a uh diploma program right then you can do the same thing and learn more about their eligibility so that it will be easy for you to make your decision okay now you know sorry about it there's been a couple of white white fire in canada so I know it's affecting some students and some faculties as well. So that's why you're kind of seeing, you know, something like this. Okay. So these are kind of the ways that, you know, some of the things that we can do to learn about this program. And then, you know, it's good to start um, applying early so that you will be able to get admission because, because it's really cheap. You know, these programs actually get filled up very quickly okay so definitely check out this you know check it out there is actually this business analysis uh, program that is you know now you can see now that this is a one-year graduate certificate program in the other i think the only absent the master date so you can definitely check out the semester that you are interested in apply for business intelligence and analytics the only absent the master date is also a one-year graduate certificate program you know um yeah so definitely check it out i'm just kind of yeah september study majority of them are September studies so i'll say you know do some search you know and then check specifically if they have a program for january start date okay that is going to help you make a lot of decision if you plan to come to canada in january but if you're planning to come in september you know you can definitely check it out okay do you the programs that don't require high school, those that require high school, and then those that require, you know, post-secondary credential, right? So these are the ones now that are mostly maybe like a graduate certificate program, right? For these high school, these are mostly diploma program that, you know, anybody straight up high school can definitely apply. And then, you know, so, but what one of the things you want to check is, you know, make sure, um, make sure you, you check the, the credential right if you want to learn more about fees you know you can you can click on any of the programs and then check on the fees right and if you want to check on programs that are opened then you know if you if you scroll down it's going to tell you that or oh, if it is O like this is opened if it's double is wait list and then the program is suspended then they also have different kind of campuses right so uh, then you can definitely check the start date and then um, if you're interested in any of them definitely you know check it out and apply okay NSCC is actually Nova Scotia Community College now this particular college is located in the province Nova Scotia so Nova Scotia is in the easterly is one of the um, Atlantic provinces in Canada so definitely you know it is a good program especially if you want to get your permanent residency through the atlantic immigration pilot program it is a fantastic program so let's look at some of the colleges sorry 
let's look at some of the game and then um yes yeah, so that's gonna be it for this video definitely should be about it you know take your time if you are planning to apply and maybe you are having some kind of difficulties in navigating the application process definitely reach out to me there's going to be a link to my website and also to in the video description and my email address so definitely reach out to me and i will be glad to help you so once again if you haven't liked this video i really don't know what you're doing because i believe this video has been helpful to you so please hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in the next video cheers